We're here virtually in Death Valley, California, where today, July 10th, 2021, they had one of the hottest temperatures ever recorded. The live temperature here is 52 degrees Celsius, about 125 degrees Fahrenheit. And we're gonna take off from this airport right now to prove a point about density altitude. A quick look at my density altitude calculator tells me that today, the density altitude is 4,485 feet. And that's just for an airport that's right around sea level at 25 feet above sea level. So let's get full throttle and see what we can get out of this airplane today with a density altitude this high. So we'll start the timer and we'll see how long it actually takes us to roll down the runway and lift off. Now right away you can tell we're moving kind of slowly. Just starting to see the airspeed pick up and come alive. This is our Cessna, so we're going to rotate around 55 knots. And finally there, almost 30 seconds into the takeoff roll, we're off the ground. Now this is a 3,200 foot runway, so we had enough distance to clear, but you can imagine with the density altitude this high, we would need a whole lot of runway just to get this uh, little Cessna 172 off the ground. Now here's the other thing, as we're climbing out, all of this density altitude is going to really affect our climb rate. We're getting maybe 200, 300 feet per minute, which is just terrible for a, for a Cessna at sea level. So it actually took us a full minute and about 45 seconds just to make it through 500 feet. So how much runway did we have left? Well, just counting the number of centerline stripes that were still remaining when we lifted off, and a quick look at Google Maps tells us that we had 1,200 feet left to go on this runway. And that's on a 3,200 foot runway, so we used up about 2,000 feet on the takeoff roll. So what does a more normal takeoff look like? We're here in Ocean City. It's 15 degrees Celsius, standard conditions, 299 or two on the altimeter, pretty much as close to zero feet density altitude as we can get it to see what the difference is gonna be between our takeoff at Death Valley on the hottest day in history and basically just a plain vanilla day. So we'll start the timer and we'll start rolling. We'll see how long it takes us to lift off this time. You can already tell that we're getting much better performance. Airspeed comes alive a lot sooner, moving down the runway a lot quicker. And as expected, lifting off probably a good 10 seconds earlier than we did at Death Valley, climbing out really nicely. Climb rate is much better. We can already tell we're gonna make it through 500 feet way, way, way sooner than we did in California. Keeping the timer rolling, could probably even climb out a little faster than this, or uh, with a higher climb rate, just to make it through 500 feet even quicker. But coming up on it now, it's gonna be something around 50 seconds is all it took us, as opposed to about a minute 45, so much better climb rate. You can imagine how tough it would be uh, for obstructions or anything if you're limited by density altitude. So a quick check on Google Maps shows us we had over 1,700 feet still to go on this runway. It's the same runway. It's the same 3,200 foot length runway as the uh, Death Valley runway. It's just that we beat that Death Valley takeoff by about 500 plus feet. So density altitude made a huge difference there. Makes a huge difference on the climb out. It's just a fun way to uh, take some, some news uh, about what's been going on with the heat wave out west and have it as a really good uh, moment to teach about density altitude. So watch Density Altitudes, everybody stay cool out there and enjoy this view of the beach.